Hi Cancer, welcome back and let's see what messages show up for you Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Cancer, you know you can reverse the rules if needed switch the cases but do not force the reading on your situation. Alright, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what's happening with you. What do you need to hear? Cancer. Ten of Wands, the Empress. Wow, Eight of Swords here. I see you in some kind of baggage right now, Cancer. The star there is in the reverse position. You might be in a situation right now where you're feeling that I'm just losing hope. I can't see light. I'm. The connection is out here. There's a lot of misunderstanding and confusion in the connection at the moment, in the situation at the moment. You might feel very limited and very bounded in your thoughts which which might not be true but it's in your thoughts right now right all right i see you are coming from a place of some baggage of some heaviness right there's some guilt or baggage on your mind right now we're going to clarify what's that or there's some past energy that you're carrying we're going to clarify this Meanwhile, you might be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. This person is, um, I wouldn't say is an ego, but yes, this person wants, uh, uh, wants you to understand their worth. Or they're in that position right now where they want their worth to be acknowledged, right? Somehow, I, I won't say it's an ego clash, but this is like, Something is weighing you down here, right? You might be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, can be a mother, mother of your kids. Very feminine energy, but more of a kind of energy where somebody wants you to realize. Wow, or see what they are for. Wow, let's see. This person is wanting attention. Okay, yeah. So, somewhere at heart, you know that things are going to get better. You both are going to reconcile. You want to reconcile. Uh, some healing is needed. I see something has happened and you're healing. You're healing at the moment. But this person overall makes you happy and instills you with hope, right? I see you hopeful that things are going to work out in no time with this person. And you're waiting for reconciliation. You're waiting for another call. Or you're just waiting for a coffee date or something. I see this is like... You share a very deep bond of friendship with this person. But overall, there's some sense of stepping back to heal from something. There's some baggage that you're carrying that you need to heal from. And there's lover's energy here. Chariot, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Let's see more, Cancer. Let's see what is happening here with you, Cancer. Somebody you're dealing with. Okay, this person misses you a lot. <clears throat> This person misses you. It can be a fire sign you're dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sag. This person misses you. If you're not in talking terms with this person right now, if you both are not talking, this person is missing you a lot. But on the other hand, this person is like a go-getter at the moment, right? I do see they're unhappy about something. They're not very happy, but this person is very passionate about something right now. Passionate about you, yes. I do see they are having some eyes on the prize. This person is getting a lot of attention. They want you to give them attention. They want you to see for what they are. You're getting my point. It's like this person wants appreciation for something. And they're not happy about something. They're, they're upset about the spills, spilled cups or something. Let's see. Let's see more. Oh, the connection is out and cold. Maybe this person is not talking right now or there's lack of communication. There's a lot of... Um, it's like you are positive about them. They are positive about you. But right now, <laughs> the connection is not positive. <laughs> You're holding back. Let's see where is the situation heading for Cancer. Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Wow. Hmm. 
you're getting to know something very soon about this person you're getting some truth or clarity i do see them reaching out to you or they're getting messages from you anyway you know you can vice vice versa you can reverse the roles but i do see communication eight of swords from eight of swords to eight of wands this energy shows me definitely betterment i'm so sorry betterment in this connection but something is telling you to set boundaries here there's some baggage you're carrying you're very passionate about them or they're very passionate about you wow you have choices cancer you have choices around you maybe you have you have some choices here but this is like a power couple energy and for some reason i see you pushing them away is it friend zoning you're carrying a baggage you have some responsibilities in your life you can't entertain this energy if this person is after you both ways we're going to clarify right cancer sun moon rising venus and jupiter all right cancer why is this baggage here on your mind thank you six of swords you're moving on from a situation in your life and oh look at that empress here again carrying the baggage page of swords look at that hmm okay i see very skeptical you're not willing to look at the truth this person is around you here i see some mommy issues here is it so <laughs> okay what is this empress energy three of cups knight of pentacles king of wands yeah so i do see this person enjoying a lot of attention here cancer a lot of attention yeah maybe they have options so they have to make a decision choice one of you i do definitely see there are options why is this out of eight of swords okay i see something new has started between you and this person or something new started between you and this person but something happened and things went out in cold what is this energy how are you feeling about this person at the moment let's see the world the three of wands and the knight of cups i see something has happened in the past and you want to close that cycle right you're waiting for that that conflict or that situation to end and you want to offer i i won't say apology but some sort of sense of reconciliation here knight of cups three of cups temperance star you're waiting for things to settle again you're waiting for things to just there's a wait here you might have turned away from this person for a moment but you're waiting for the cycle to end here ace of cups see for fans i do see you planning to have a new beginning with this person let's see how they are they're missing you they're thinking about you all the time all day let's see more knight of wands magician and the eight of pentacles this person is manifesting something here focused very clear in their thoughts manifesting something magician with the eight of pentacles very clear in their thoughts here look at that who the magician with the eight of pentacles hanged man the, you know they are interested here but i see a very non committal vibe here non settling non committal this is what i want otherwise i'm out you getting my point i see this person is a little non serious about things here Why is the situation out in cold sun? Wow, I see a little baby here. They're going to be hearing from this person. I do feel that. What is this truth? Clarity coming out. Ten of Pentacles. Strength. Nine of Pentacles. You do share a deep sense of comfort, abundance with this person. This can be a family situation. Can be your spouse. Something surrounding families getting revealed, but still, I see. you're holding back the urge to initiate the conversation at first right you're trying to stay independent and what is the eight of wands energy here for this person oh eight of wands clarified by eight of wands look at that it's very interesting oh they are cold they're cold angry they're getting the communication though 
If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male, this person is going to be very angry, bursting out. Whereas if you're dealing with, uh, wow, I do see some anger. I'm so sorry. Do see some anger here, anger management issues maybe. Whoa, whoa, okay. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Okay. I do see Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords. There's something. It's like at heart you want to offer a cup to this person. Cup for reconciliation, cup to make a proposal, cup to maybe settle the air. But still, I'm feeling that you're going to be very happy with them, yes. You're acting as if you don't trust them or you're actually not trusting them. You want this person to chase you, Cancer, is it so? Because this is a power couple energy bond, yes. But on the, on the other hand, I do see other influences in their life. Maybe seeing other people, keeping the options open, missing you and meanwhile not ready to get settled. Oh, let's see more. I'm so sorry. Let's see what is this connection about for cancer. Let's see. Distorted feminine cancer. Are you feeling that lack of clarity, lack of um, yeah, abundance is there? Yes. Feeling a little disoriented at the moment, Cancer. Are you feeling out of place or it's just that you're not able to manage things? Hmm, waiting for light. Feeling quite disoriented without this person or just there are some things which are weighing you down. See more. Sexuality, wow. Do see that the bond is very strong, luminosity. This person definitely brings in a lot of light and happiness in your life as if you just you know this person brings in that brings in that light in you but on the other hand i feel you might feel the connection is disoriented at the moment or what let's see let's let's clarify a little more cancer it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all see you not trusting them for some reason you're not letting your heart out to this person new love is there yes healing family issues your love life benefits as you as you forgive your parents so some parental issue or something coming from parents and laws some things have to heal, some things have to be forgiven on this person's part. This person is carrying something okay, worth waiting for. This is so beautiful. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Trust that things are going to eventually work out for the best of you, right? For, for the best for you. And universe is on that path the universe is bringing you on that path where eventually things are going to be best for you it's just that if at the moment things are weighing you down or you feel that i don't understand what things are going to happen in this connection what's happening in this connection it's time to disconnect from the world look at that hmm. that's very interesting i'll get one more card for you cancer read this from this from this deck the connection is strong. I do see you want the same. Somehow, you know, sometimes uh, things are good, but they're not as per what we expect. Maybe it's taking time. Something on that front, I feel. Maybe this person is getting distracted by other people at the moment, but they do miss you. But at the same time, there are other things distracting this person. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Cancer, that's very beautiful. And gratitude. Yeah, it's very giving energy here. 
I see you are a little miser at the moment, miser of emotions, keeping everything stuck within you. Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. It's time to vent it out. It's time to take it out, Cancer. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it represents. Presents, wow. So I do feel at the moment, you might have experienced something in the past and because of that, you're not completely opening up to this person. Not, you're not getting your 100%. You're not... Uh, oh. you, you're not... Getting my point. Five of Swords, you're not trusting somebody here at the moment. Universe wants you to calm down and understand that it's safe to open up. Sometimes we are so used to toxic relationships and toxic connections in our life, or toxicity in our life, that we fail to acknowledge unconditional love or true love or genuine love. You're getting my point. I see you feeling it very hard to trust this person or be a heart to them. And there are some things which are already, sometimes we project our thoughts, our past experiences, experiences and emotions in the other person. I see you need to settle a little bit, calm a little bit down, give this situation some time. And wow, it's very beautiful. You'll find the peace. Look at that. Very nice. So I'm going to leave you here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.